I really do have a five head on camera, don't I? Okay, so today I'm actually like super excited to do this video. When I first thought about doing YouTube, I literally thought about this idea, and it is how I used to do my makeup in high school, and like literally every single person started doing it. Um, so that's like one of the reasons why I was just like, whatever, I have to do YouTube. <laughs> but since, um, you know, everyone's doing it that way, I thought I'd kick it up a notch and show you what I did in middle school, um, high school, and a little bit of college, okay? So this is going to be real fun. Oh, and then I'm also going to show you how I did my hair too, because that was a train wreck. To start it off, let's get this hair out of the way. I actually had a... Um, go out to Target and buy some of the things that I used to use. It was like really funny. I actually um, used to have really bad acne and I think that's probably why my mom let me do my makeup because she felt bad for me. Thanks mom, you're the real MVP. I would always use, of course, a foundation that was way too light for me. And it was always, actually, it was like True Match or it would be, oh my God, it was either True Match or something Cover Girl. Um, so let's just put this on. Oh yeah, let's get in there real nice. Oh god. So this is an old one, way too light for me, which is exactly how I would do it in middle school. So of course, you know, all middle schoolers know the best trick of all is just put it in your hands. Oh my god. <laughs> just put it in my hands, just rub it together like some good old lotion, and just get it on there. Oh my god. I cannot believe I used to do this. Yep, this is what I would do. Take it and just rub it all over my face. Yep. A pattern on my eyes. Like, I don't understand. I don't think you understand here. Oh god, this camera's actually doing a fairly good job making me not look like a monster. So I typically take, of course, a black eyeliner. It was either this one from Wet n Wild, I remember exactly. It is the um, Cool Crayon, oh no, what the fuck? The Wet n Wild uh, Color Icon Coal Eyeliner. Or was a CoverGirl one that had this weird little sponge on the end? Y'all probably remember that one. Put it right on the waterline. Because if listening to Green Day and Blink-182 wasn't enough, you gotta put on some uh, black eyeliner. Just like that. Just like that. And I never did my eyebrows, ever. This is, this is it. This is what you got in middle school. Oh, I almost forgot to do my hair. So for my hair, I'll show you my, uh, my signature. By the way, my hair was like always out to here because I didn't learn how to section my hair while I was straightening it until like my senior year of high school. So I'd go like this. Don't look a day over 12. Never did my eyebrows. Never put on mascara. Literally all it was was some really bad foundation and some really bad black eyeliner, which by the way, would like be all the way down here by the end of the day. So that's pretty much how middle school went for me. On to high school. So while I was taking off my makeup, I realized that one of the biggest things that I did in high school, that high school and college literally, that like literally make me cringe now is that I never, never washed my face, ever. I would just wake up and then wear the same makeup that was on so I did a terrible job taking off the foundation and I did a terrible job taking off the eyeliner. So high school was a lot better. 
started making new friends, still was pretty bad at makeup, but I switched it up a little bit. Someone out there suggested that I stop using a black eyeliner and start using a brown eyeliner. And then I would, you know, wake up in the morning, put on my foundation like so, again. Ooh. Oh, I forgot to tell you that I also put on my lips. So now onto the eyes. That was always my favorite part. So what I would do is, God, I look so much better on camera than I do in real life, thank God. I'll go like this in my eye. Take it along the top every morning. Oh, don't mind that. That happened all the time. I'm literally not exaggerating, by the way. This is literally how I used to do it. And then I'd go underneath, just in the waterline. I always like got here like religiously. So that was my eyes. I tap off this, obviously. So I got this mascara from my mom. Y'all probably remember this. Still have it since then. So we'll just do a little bit on here. Just a tiny bit. Not even enough to see it. I never put on my lower lashes, don't even know why I did that. Still didn't do anything with the eyebrows. Never did anything with the eyebrows, but I graduated to some L'Oreal True Match powder. I literally probably have had this since high school. I'm, kidding. I'm not even exaggerating. Go like this. <laughs> I would take this uh, CoverGirl blush, um, rose silk. This actually probably came out of my mom's makeup bag at the time. I still have it. Go like this. Never tapped off the excess. Who does that? So much color payoff. That was high school. Literally until I graduated, I did my eye makeup like this. My hair, you ask. So my hair was either, you know, down straight like this, or I did this all the time. And I would literally hairspray it. Like this. Just to give you a little song of my high school is because I decided that I was into rap music around high school. There's high school for your kids. I didn't stop doing this to my eyes when I went to college. College is when my milkshake started bringing all the boys to the yard. So actually in college I had really, really short hair. It was like to here and it was super, super blonde. But I would put it up all the time in this tiny little bun. But it was always like flat up here. And I never knew how to get it different. So now in college I decided to use mascara. So we're going to put that on. That almost looks white. I, oh, and yeah, my eye makeup was on, and the mascara was on when I used to do this. Just like that. Then I would take lip gloss of any choice, and pop that on. I don't know why I started wearing makeup in college. My um, roommate, one of my best friends at the time, she was like a glamazon. She always, her makeup was great all the time, so maybe that's why. This. I actually have this still from college. You can see that I uh, really liked it. I, just take I would take this and like put it on my brow bone. And I don't know why I did that or like who told me to do that, but I did it every single day. Well, it doesn't really do anything. Still no eyebrow action though. I never did anything to my eyebrows. 
And then I have this Wet n Wild bronzer that I used to use. Literally probably from college still. I would take any brush. It was actually probably this brush. This is where the magic happens. I would just go all around my face. Like this. And I'm not kidding. I will go like this all over my face. And then I would take, uh, now I look crazy. Then I would take some blush. Put that on. And then to tone everything down a little bit, because we all know I had to do that. All the same brush too, by the way. All the same brush. I would take the L'Oreal True Match. And just put that all on top of it. That looks a lot crazier than it probably did at the time, maybe not, because I would actually tan. We went tanning all the time. Um, so yeah, this is uh, this is college. I'm always having these little things hang out. So there you have it. That's how I used to do my makeup. Uh, and my hair. So funny because like, I literally used to think that it was so good. Not so much in middle school because I was still getting picked on, but <laughs> in high school I thought it was like so cool. In in college I was like the same way. High school and college were fun though, you know? I had a great time. I peed in some guy's washing machine in high school when I was drunk. That was great. I got made fun of for like a year for that and I still to this day think it's hilarious. Um, college was a good time, um, but I gotta say I've come a long way with my makeup and I'm very proud of it. Um, I think that the next thing I'm gonna do is Tyler putting on my makeup. We'll see if we can get him to do that. It'll probably take literally three months for him to get around and want to do it. But um, I will see you in my next video. Bye!